I literally think I've said it like 8,000 times today how thankful I am to be home. guys and happy Friday from home Mary and I keep like emphasizing everything today at home I was like do you want to have coffee at home today as opposed to yesterday when we left to go to CF clinic we were throwing things in a suitcase being prepared for thinking today we would be at the hospital and uh, we don't know what the next days will look like as Mary does this these IVs basically we came home and decided to do IVs from home and we're started on that at least on Mary's IV meropenem she's doing it continuous like with a pump and we started it last night and uh, so far she's a little nauseous but no like crazy reaction so that's uh, good although sometimes it takes kind of 24 hours before her body kind of sets into war zone uh, so we'll see how tonight goes and but anyways we're really grateful uh, to be home today I mean who knows what tomorrow or the next day or we none of us know and so we take today and be grateful for it and I'm gonna make us some food we have some steak in the fridge and uh, I think I'm gonna make that and hopefully have a nice dinner. It's kind of late afternoon. We've uh, just been taking care of things today. We finished a Christmas movie, movie that we've been working on and uh, I just finished the blog and I've been working on uh, my sermon for Sunday and then uh, started working on, we're having a couple special Christmas services the following weekend and so working on a lot of things. So a lot of moving parts in life right now, but uh, we're grateful today. And so I'm gonna make some food and we'll see you guys in a bit. I'm beeping. I'm switch it out. It's actually a little bit easier. Okay. It's actually a little bit easier being on continuous, so I'm on a 24-7, but it's easier because you don't, well, I guess you still have to change it every eight hours, but. It's an easier change than having to mix, hook it up and then unhook. And like not mixing it is amazing. That Some medications you have to mix. Very true. So I'm just, it's kind of like one of those things when you're on 24-7, you're like, hey, there's easier things about it. You know, it's fine. When you're on not 24-7, when you're hooking and say it's like a five-minute push, then you're like, oh, that's nice. It's done in five minutes. So you kind of take what, whatever, you got to find the good parts about what you're dealing with. Um, what I was am I just, doing? I was just remembering. Do you need a flush? I think that'd be great. Yeah. But, hi guys, I literally think I've said it like 8,000 times today how thankful I am to be home. I think my brain was like, I didn't, I didn't expect to be able to come home and I'm just so thankful. Even if I had to be admitted like tomorrow, just like one whole day at home when I thought I was going to be in the hospital. Anyway, you were remembering what? Well, it's amazing how that, that perspective, like... You know, we were home yesterday, but we weren't, like, thankful to be home. Yeah. It's like that perspective of, you know, you could be in the hospital, and then, like, you... It, it's just, like, simple things like that remind you to be grateful. But I was going to say, I was remembering last night. Do you remember when we came back from Scotland, we were living in the rehab house, and you were on continuous IVs, and the pump yes. was so loud? Mm -hmm. Like, every, like, few seconds, how continuous pump works is it does a little bit of dose every few seconds, and it, like, runs, and it'll go, mm -hmm, I gotta do the stakes. But anyways, I, it was, it was a little bit annoying last it night. It was annoying, and I, it was driving me nuts. Actually, in the middle of the night, I put it in my bag, because the light was flashing so bright 
but anyway. Yeah, so we are very, very grateful to be home. And, you know, there's no way to predict how my body's gonna handle these medications. Um, when we do blood work next, we'll know if my blood counts are dropping and we'll just handle it. I think I've decided, I mean, after living with this body for 29 years, I've realized there's no point in trying to figure it out. You just gotta go with the flow and adapt as each day's challenges come and be thankful for the days that the challenges are less. So for now, I think because it's going in so slowly, repeat RX, yes. I think because it's going in so slowly, my body, it, it hasn't like built up in my body enough to have a reaction. So I'm thankful, like I had a fever and I had a headache today, but that was just like my normal, what I've been dealing with anyway. So, okay, just hooked that up. So that's good for another eight hours. Just don't forget to pick this bag up before you walk away. Anyway, it's so funny because like before reactions start and even like when I'm in the hospital or whatever, I'm like chatty with the nurses and everything's hunky dory, whatever. And then as soon as the reactions start, it is like, pew, it goes downhill real fast. But hey, I mean, then, I don't know, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. So just taking it one day, one hour at a time, doing what we got to do. Oh, hey guys. Same position. Oh yeah. You were still sitting on the Keurig but it's many, many hours later. Peter's been gone studying. I've been in bed, I took a bath, all the things that you do when you're sick. <coughs> I think you need a windowsill update. Yeah. Peter found these beautiful berries outside. This was a Christmas gift. It's a new cat, um, what is it called? Succulent. <coughs> and my rosemary plant and the piece of our Christmas tree. So there you go. Here's your windowsill update. 2018. Yeah. It's almost 2019. That's crazy. <coughs> I feel like I just got used to typing 18 at the end of the vlogs. <coughs> okay, I am not sure. I'm a little nervous right now because I just took my temperature and my fever is going back up, which it had come down earlier and now it's going back up. So I'm not sure if this means this is the reaction setting in or what. It's a little bit higher right now than it was earlier, so I don't know. But I feel like eating, and Peter just made this amazing like breakfast sandwich for me. So I'm really hoping I don't throw this up. I'm gonna eat it and enjoy it and just embrace this moment because I just don't know what my moments are gonna be like in about an hour. We're gonna just finish. We already started chest PT for the night and we're gonna finish that. And uh, we'll update probably you in the morning you, if, what? I was gonna say, probably give you some time to let the food settle before we continue that. Yeah, but we'll keep you updated tomorrow what happens about my reactions, but that's our day, so. As Thanks. always, we will see you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, good night. Bunji, can you say good night to everybody? Uh, Ali, can you say good night? Good night, everybody.